you can read it. You don't have to memorize anything, okay? No memorizing required. All right, so I'm just going to pass this out. It has the grading rubric on there and all the instructions. The due date is next week, okay? So you have one week to make this video. And you can do it all in one take. You know, there's not, uh, it doesn't have to be very complicated, all right? But first, I'm just going to read the first section. We're going to talk about the speech, okay, about the speech. Uh, for the last project of the semester, you will be making a video speech. The speech must follow the same structure that I have taught you in class. So that's the same outline as you used for today's speech, okay? This time, your speech will have three main points. So instead of just two main points, you'll have three, okay? The topic of your speech is three things I've learned this semester. Okay, three things I've learned this semester. They may be academic or non-academic. Everyone say academic. Academic. What does that mean? Yeah, study. Related to study. That's right. Anything related to school. So math, science, history, you know, all that stuff. And then non-academic is the opposite. So not related to school. So maybe you've learned things that are completely unrelated to school. You probably learn stuff like about your friends. You probably learn things. How many people in here learned how to wash their laundry? Anybody learn how to do the laundry? Yeah, see, I knew there's always one. There's always at least one, all right? <laughs> You're know, one lucky student who never had to wash laundry in middle school. <laughs> okay? All right, so if your mom always washed your laundry, that would be something you learned non-academic after coming to SNFL. All right, so let's continue reading here. Anything you have learned over the past half a year will be good. Maybe you learned a valuable social lesson about being a good friend. Maybe you learned an interesting new way to solve a particular math problem. Maybe you developed a new study method that works better than your previous method. Maybe you've learned the importance of health and eating or sleeping well. Maybe there is a really cool pro proverb, poem, story, or book that you've learned from this year. Maybe it's something you learned from a teacher, or maybe something you've learned from the School of Hard Knocks. Truly anything that you have learned in the past six months can be used as a main point in this speech. Okay? So you're definitely not limited to my class. Anything over the whole semester. I want you to just pick three things that you've learned. So your main points, last time they were story and then uh, what you learned. Okay, story and lesson. This time it's going to be lesson, lesson, lesson. Okay, so three things that you've learned. Okay, today I'm going to tell you all three things that I've learned. I learned this, this, and this. Okay, first thing I learned. Second thing I learned. Third thing I learned. You got it? Okay, cool. So let's talk about the video instructions now. How you're going to make this video. I'm going to have you guys read these ones. Okay, so the first one starts with the video. Ready? Let's read it together. Everybody, ready? Go. The video should be recorded in one take. No cutting. Okay, no cutting the video. All right, it has to be one take. No cutting out any parts of it. But you can read it, like I said, so no problem. All right, next, you may. Ready? Go. You may edit the only by adding things to the video. You have such as subtitles or pictures. Yeah, so you can add subtitles to it if you want to, but that's totally optional. Like I said, you guys already have a lot to do. Just record it in one take, send it to me, you're good. All right, no problem. And by the way, there's no video reflection for today's speech. So you have too much to do. <laughs> too busy. All right, if you, ready, go. If you have sounds, Again, you don't have to add anything like this, but some people like to add a little background music or some kind of like uh, intro music or something like that. Make sure your voice can be heard over it. Okay, make it nice and quiet. All right, two, uh, try two. Ready, go. Try to record in the place without too much background noise. All right, so that means not in the hallway and no noisy classrooms. A nice quiet place. If you record it in a noisy place, if you have no other choice, you have to record it in a noisy place, that's okay. You might need to add subtitles. Go back and listen to it again, and if you can't hear what you're saying, then I'm not going to hear what you're saying. So add subtitles, problem solved. Okay? Next, your face. Ready? Go! Your face and shoulders must be visible in the video the whole time. Alright. The important thing here, 
care about your face and shoulders. I need to see that you're wearing the tie. Okay, so you have to wear the tie and your uniform. One of the things you're graded on down here is your uniform. And for this one, since it's a video and you only technically have to, from like here up, you don't actually even wear sweatpants. <laughs> You know, nobody knows <laughs> what's, what's not going on down there. All right, but if you do a full body shot, make sure it's formal, okay? The formal uniform is either a long pants or a skirt, okay? So, yeah, formal uniform, got to show your face the whole time. Oh, and that's the other thing. You can read your speech, but make sure you don't do this, okay? Because then your face is not showing in the video. Mm -hmm. Okay, so don't cover your face. Hold it down like this. It's better to just loop down and like this. There we go. The body of your speech. Ready? Go. The body of your email. I can't tell you how many students are still forgetting this, okay? You should always do this when you send me homework. Always. And when you go to college and you're sending your, your professor's homework in, they always include your name and student number. Always. Okay? Because if you don't, it makes it very difficult for the teacher to record your grade. Alright? So that's that one. Then the if the video, okay, if this video, ready, go. If this video is late, you will lose one Yeah, normally when videos like reflection videos are late, I just take half a point off. But this time, because it's for the swing fan fun, I have a deadline. I have to turn this grade in. Um, so one point off is just great. Send it tonight. <laughs> okay, send it early. Okay, as early as you can. All right, now down here is the grading rubric. This is how I'm going to grade you. And you um, in the other class, in the B class, you're A, right? Mm -hmm. All right. In the B class, I accidentally made a typo mistake. I whited out on yours. It's not 20 points. If you do the math, and I can't believe nobody. I taught it to two B classes, and nobody caught my math mistakes. 2 plus 2 plus 3 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus, two plus 1 plus 1 is not 20. It's 15. <laughs> 15 points. All right, so this, uh, this last one is 15 points, which is more than your previous two. They were just 10 points each. So this one is a bit more, which is uh, kind of why it's going to be a video project. Also, after you make the video, you can sit and watch it and grade yourself. And then you can know what your grade's going to be before I even grade you. Wow. Amazing. All right. So this is how I'm going to grade you, and as you can see, there is nothing on here about eye contact. And there's a reason for that, because whenever we do video projects, there's no way for me to know if there aren't words hiding behind the camera. Okay, if your words are behind the camera, it looks like perfect eye contact. <laughs> so I, there's no way for me to know if people are cheating or if they've actually memorized it. So I can't grade eye contact with a video project. So no eye contact, which means you can just straight up hold your paper and read it, okay? That's fine. You do not have to memorize this. You can just read your speech. All right. Um, yeah, everything else pretty self-explanatory. Do you, uh, you have any questions? And the back of this handout is empty, so you can use it if you want to like outline what you're going to talk about. And we have the rest of today's class to get started on that. And it's due by midnight in our next class, the day of our next class, is 28th midnight that day. And actually in our next class, I'll, I'll give you class time to work on, on things, uh, so you can work on it then. Probably better to send it early. <laughs> send it early, please. Okay? Oh boy.